hi guys welcome back to the channel okay today we're going to be driving through Drax Hall and Drax Hall has it's one of the fastest growing residential areas in Jamaica it, um, it's on the north coast we're on the northern coastal highway just outside of Ocho Rios you'll find Drax Hall I'm just going to show you right, this is just one section of Drax Hall and you're going to see the amount of homes that are here and they're very nice homes in gated communities very modern looking and all these developments have been sold out okay they're not going to let us in because it's a gated community but i'm just showing you what it looks like, giving you an idea of what it looks like we're going to start making videos and using drones so that we can get a better view of all of these things Now, Drax Hall has thousands of homes and thousands more on the construction. And it's between Ocho Rios and St. Anne's Bay. Now, St. Anne's Bay is the capital of St. Anne, and St. Anne is the largest parish in Jamaica. It's also on the north coast, so it has a lot of hotels, villas, um, apartments that people rent but this part is residential perhaps they're on airbnbs out of them too but this is mostly the residential part so okay it's between ocho rios and ocho rios and saint anne's bay it doesn't have much in terms of like you're not going to find a tax office a post office those kind of things it's more residential and if you need to use one of those facilities like a hospital a medical center a government office tax office you would go into either St. Anne's Bay or Ocherius and ironically I mean they're being built now but there are no plazas really the only supermarket you're going to find in Draxall today is at the gas station there is no major chain in here or anything. They're in Ocherius and they're in St. Anne's Bay. So I'm not sure why it took so long for these plazas to be built. Or maybe it's not long, maybe it's right on time because these developments that you see here are just a fraction of what's being built in Saint in Draxall. Across the road is even more construction. But um, the plazas are being built now and we're going to take a look at those two. There is actually KFC opened a location in Draxall recently and Starbucks opened a location and Pizza Hut. So that will give you an idea. Okay, look straight across the road now and you're going to see so another gated community and so many homes and there are more under construction as well. So Draxall is definitely an up and coming place. Okay, we're now going to take a look at the fast food restaurants that I mentioned earlier. And there are other stores, plazas being built. Some are complete, but most are under construction. Okay, so if we turn left here, we go into another section that's being built. Like when you go up that hill, they have like three or four more complexes being built. Okay, on the right is where you'll find the food places. We're going to drive over there and take a look. Okay, I think we can turn here. This is a slow moving truck. All right, so there you go. This plaza has all of the food places. But as I said, no large supermarket chain is over here yet, which is very surprising. Now, Nutsford Express, which is um, the main private bus service between Montego Bay and Kingston, they've built this. It's actually the Nutsford Express Business Center, but this is where their bus is. It's a terminal for passengers to get on and off the bus, and I guess you can stop here. The bus stops here, basically. 
Okay, but they've also built a plaza, as you can see, very nice plaza, and it seems to be up and running. Well, some stores are still empty, but some are up and running, so it's new. Okay, straight ahead now is another plaza. You can see the KFC. That's the plaza with the KFC. So this area is being developed very quickly. But still none of these plazas um, have a large supermarket chain in it. And that is very surprising. And when I say a large chain, I mean like a high, low, a progressive foods, a shopper's fair. That those are probably the largest chains supermarket chains okay now we're going to drive through this plaza okay and at the back now is more stores it's under construction still And this Starbucks in Jamaica has um, what you call a, a drive-thru. No other Starbucks in Jamaica has a drive-thru, yes. This is the only one. Of course, you know, KFC has a drive-thru. And that's a drive-thru line right there. So this is a very nice development and I must say I'm very impressed with what's going on in um, Draxall. Very impressed. We need more communities like this being developed in Jamaica. Very nice. Alright. I'm just going to show you the Starbucks and the Pizza Hut. Okay, and as we said, this area doesn't have like tax offices and those things. It's just like a straight residential area in between Ocherios and Spanish Town and St. Anne's Bay. And those areas are fully developed. They have everything in them. So I guess the concept here is you just, um, just residential. If you need to do business, you drive five minutes to St. Anne's Bay in one direction or five minutes to Ocherios in another direction so and I think people have liked that idea that's why this place is being developed so quickly because um thousands of homes are built already and thousands more under construction all right guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day